Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 17 of Civilization 6 as the German Empire. We've now met all of the other civilizations. Japan actually even likes us a little bit as well. I think we'll actually go over to Japan, have a quick word with him, and I think we'll uh, try and establish an embassy with him as well. Give us a little bit more of a reputational boost. Maybe we can get friendly with someone. This is one of the things that I used to dislike about Civilization 5, was that once you became... Um, hated by the AI. You were pretty much always going to be hated by the AI. Seems like we've got a spare tea as well. Maybe we can sell that to somebody. Could we sell it to you? Would you like some tea? Uh, what would you give me for it? You'd actually give me some money for it. There you go. Have some tea. I mean, you're Japanese, right? You must love tea as much as the English does. Uh, let us go on to the next town. We've got some more barbarians to hunt down. Although I think he was moving towards our crossbowmen, but it's not really going to serve him too well. I believe he will be on the uh, receiving end of uh, some pointy sticks very shortly. It's only turn 236. It certainly seems to slow down as things go along. My production has been quite terrible as well. Yep, he's backing off into his camp. More than happy for him to do that. You are going to improve that iron. Some more production there. Uh, you are going to hopefully finish off those spearmen. It'll take us a couple of turns to go and clear the camp, but we can do that. So that used that last charge of that builder. But we do have the iron now, and we have two population. And you're actually working both of those tiles. You'll grow in seven turns. I am happy with that. I love the animation for the uh, for the mine, by the way, the little mine cart coming out of the mine and going into the uh, into the processing plant. There's a lot of detail that's uh, gone into this. Even the things that you can see being built. And you see we're building the granary. You can quite clearly see the granary being built there. It even matches the icon. So there's a lot of attention to detail to it. If we look in cities that already have them, we can see those buildings. We can see where the granary is. We can see where the monument is. So, yeah, I really like the... I'm actually really, you know, getting to grips with this graphic style. It's a little bit different, a bit jarring at first. Took some getting used to. Um, but uh, it's quite clear to see. It's certainly a lot better than Beyond Earth was. The only thing that I would say that I don't particularly like about this graphic style is it's a lot harder for me... Well, for me personally, it might just be me, but I find it a lot more difficult to spot hills. Like, if you look at this terrain here, this is a hill. Uh, this is a hill, but this here is flat terrain, I think. It is flat terrain. But look how similar they look. You can, there's a slight shadow there. But it's very, very difficult to tell the difference between the two at a quick glance. Uh, it's just spawned a scout, which is unfortunate. But again, more free XP. How close are you to another promotion? Now, you've got quite a bit of a way to go. So uh, you've still got another sort of 27 XP before you really get anything. So the um, the good thing about having a uh, encampment is you'll see that the encampment has its own uh, district strength as well, and it's got its own sort of combat strength, and that's because the uh, the district can actually also f f the encampment can also fire at enemies as well. We do really need to get walls around everywhere. There's a few places that we have not. Um, what have we got here? Increased trade route capacity. We can now go up to four. Uh, Cologne has finished whatever it was working on. Um, we could go and work on a market. I'd like to be able to get some more, uh, more places to live, to be honest. We could, uh, well, we definitely need a spy. Let's start working on a spy. We're not growing much here. We'll work on a spy. And uh, we'll go on to the next turn. We do need to get another, uh, trade, uh, route established. I guess we could just buy one, though. So that's not too problematic. Just buy one from Frankfurt or something. Uh, we are still working on a wonder. There was a couple of turns left the last time I checked. So we might still get it. And um, we can actually clear the camp on this turn, I think, unless this is a hill. Nope, it's not a hill, so we can move there and then move into that tile and clear it. Fantastic. More free gold. Any more around? Because they do respawn quite quickly. I guess we just go back to uh, Hildeberg. So let's go and do that. Cargo route. Yes, let's go over here and purchase with gold. Trader, 400 gold. We can afford that. Um, what about getting some buildings? Get an amphitheater. Get a shipyard. Uh, requires a lighthouse and a harbour. 
would give us more production. But yeah, I think getting the amphitheater is uh, well worth it. So let's choose our production over here as well. Were we already working on the amphitheater? Was I already building that? That was a stupid mistake. Uh, we could work on the Great Lighthouse. Movement for naval units. Plus three gold. It's not really needed. The Colossus, Colossus would give us another trade route capacity. There again, there's quite a few other nice things that we could get. Guess getting a commercial hub wouldn't be a terrible idea either. Um, let's go... What have we got there? Tells you at the bottom, that's a lumber mill. We could lose the lumber mill. I suppose. Production here is 17.8, which is not great. But we would gain additional gold from having it there. Gain three additional gold if we were willing to uh, pop it down here. There's actually nothing down there. Um... There's a marsh. Well, we're not bothered about the marsh. We'll go and remove the marsh and put that down there. Fantastic. Let's go on to the next turn, then. That'll take 19 turns to build, but we should be okay. Our culture output is increasing a little bit now, so that should help me catch up. Somebody else has just beated the Colossus, so I'm glad I didn't start on that. I think I was working on the Forbidden Palace or something. I can't even remember what it was now. Apart from the sanitation, the medicine, education, wine, public order, roads, the fresh water system, and public health, what have the Romans ever done for us? Gotta love Monty Python. Okay, so another trade route. Cordoba's looking pretty good. 13 gold, one culture, one science. Uh, 14 gold, one culture, one science, one religion. Or we could take one less gold and gain a production. Because I'm not bothered about the faith. So I think getting the extra production... Yeah, I think we'll go to Plymouth. Let's go ahead and do that one. And that uh, has given us a boost as well. Increase of commerce through your lands. Soon attract a trade fair. There are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. So we could change our policies. Plus one gold from each... Plus one gold from each of the envoys in city-states... What have we got at the moment? 50% production towards building spies. We're actually working on a spy at the moment, but we do have a lot of envoys at the moment. We've got at least 12. I'm not too bothered about the spy production speed. I think we just go for that. 78... 74.8. 94.8. Yeah, nice. Okay. Um, what were we working on? Where am I even looking? Down here somewhere. This is the... Forbidden City, and it's under construction, two turns left. So keep your fingers crossed that we get it. Uh, looks like we could possibly even work on chemistry now if we wanted, or oh, that's miles up the list. Uh, give us research labs. We can get flight. We can get steel. That was to build the Eiffel Tower. All tiles in the civilization gain plus two appeal. Get battleships and artillery. Battleships require coal. Get economics. Could build Big Ben. Gives your next economic policy slot and six gold. Plus three great merchant points. That's not bad, actually. Let me go ahead and uh, queue economics up. Why not? Uh, could also get rifling, which would give us a ranger. Fast-moving industrial era recon unit. There's a ranged unit. So that, I guess, replaces our... Uh, crossbowman. Um, oh no, upgrades from a scout. Interesting. So, a ranged scout. Hmm, maybe we do want to get that. Uh, build a niter mine. We couldn't do. We, do. we do have one lot of niter, but that niter is actually um, under one of our cities. I think we'll do that and then... Oh, again. Holding down shift for some reason, bringing up the steam overlay. Uh, we'll queue up to get rifling, I think. We'll be back filling in a lot of stuff, but I don't mind. Hopefully we'll get some more science output. So we can get exploration here, which will give us the Merchant Republic. Get an extra two trade routes. 15% faster growth rate in cities on your not on your capital's original continent. Or we can get humanism. To give us the choice of the art museum or the archaeological museum. That will give us more culture. 
Great engineer points per turn. Great artist points per turn. I think we'll go for the uh, humanism at the moment. Are we close to getting a great person of any description? Still quite a way off getting a great engineer. Now, great writer points are taking a long time before we ever get one of those. You certainly don't earn them as quickly as you do in um, Civilization V. Okay, let's carry on then. Keep hoping that we actually do manage to get the Forbidden City. I can't even remember what it gives us now. If somebody else beat me right on the last turn, it's usually what happens. England has earned a, earned a great merchant. Okay, nothing significant seemed to have happened there. Oh no, barbarians approach. Uh, we've got a camp down here. Fantastic. Um, let's go down and have a look at you. We can probably kill you off and then move and get rid of that camp. We can also start moving in with the... Uh, with these guys. Would we actually win that battle? It says we would. We're not particularly good against them, but we're certainly uh, a stronger unit than they are, so that's that's fine. And then we'll move back and uh, garrison again. Uh, new city-state quest. Trigger a Eureka moment for industrialization. Meta new city-state. Wow, really? That must be that caravel that's on auto... The uh, frigate that's on auto-explore. Scout is running off. Quite annoying. Um, let's go. Oh. The whole palace complex is built along a central axis, the axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Okay, there we go. We've got the Forbidden City, and that gives us an extra wild card policy slot. Fantastic. That's also boosted our knowledge of computers. Okay, stuff to do then. So we need to build something here now. Um, we can get a sewer. It will give us plus two housing. What is our housing here at the moment? Does that mean we're over or we're, we're under? It, doesn't, it says nine of 13. Yeah, thir 13 housing for nine citizens. So we don't really need more housing here. Um... We've already started working on the medieval wars. Let's get those finished off. Uh, Berlin has finished its um, aqueduct. I'd love to be able to buy an aqueduct. Let's start building the monument so we get some border growth. Um, do we have enough money to buy an aqueduct? How much is an aqueduct going to cost us? Probably a ton. Uh, we'll have to wait until the monument is finished, I think. Um, but yeah, we know that you've got housing problems in Cologne. You're working on a spy. You can't get an aqueduct, though. I don't think. Can we buy spies with faith? No, we cannot. That's unfortunate. Uh, free policy slot now. We've got this extra wildcard policy. So we're getting great writer points. Um, great general, great admiral, great merchant. I think we'll go for great science then. Mind you, it is wild card, so I think we can put anything in a wild card slot. So we could put one of these in if we really wanted to. But no, I think we'll try and get a great scientist. We'll go and do that. Still need to sort this housing out. We really do. Um, yeah, clearing these seems a bit of a nightmare if you don't move the mouse first. It doesn't seem... See, it's done that again now. It's it's assumed that I've told this unit to move when I haven't. And um, let's do that. Right, you're going to go and just uh, beat up on these guys. Still not liking this auto unit switching. Again, that's something that Civilization V used to do, but you could turn it off in the options. Um, you don't have that option in Civilization VI, although it doesn't appear that all of the options are currently in Civilization VI, so that might be the reason for that. There's certainly a few options that I would uh, certainly like to see uh, re-enabled. Um, such as yield yield icons for having a civilian unit selected. Um, I'm not going to bother moving all the way down with uh, that 
crossbow unit to deal with that barbarian camp especially as we might still end up getting another one over here we've actually spread now when we've got another mercury resource so we could probably go and improve that and we've got another camp we could probably go and improve both of those and um, sell that off do we have a free builder i'm guessing we don't i haven't found the unit list in this either used to have the the unit list in uh, civilization 5 where you could just bring up a list of all the units you had. And I haven't seen that in this. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave you there to fortify, I think. We might get a builder here after that um, barracks is finished. And I don't think we're going to start building the things that give us more housing in cities where we don't need the housing. Not until we need it or we start to need it. Because you really have to be more selective about the order that you build things in this game, I think. Trade route plundered. Wow, I think that's actually a first. We have lost a trade route there. Um, barbarians plundered a trade route from Cologne to Athens. It's no longer active. Bloody um, guys there. Well, we're not going to get them because we don't have open borders with Greece. But that'll stop them coming back towards us. So now we need to get a new trade route as well. Which is annoying. You're nearly dead, but not quite. Uh, choose production. I said we were going to go and get a um, builder. Seven turns. We do need another trader, I agree. Um, we can probably just afford a trader. Yeah, we'll just buy one. On to the next turn, then. Do we even have, have a, a road going on? I can't see a road. Maybe we were going by sea. I don't know. Well, no, we couldn't have been because we were pillaged by that annoying um, scout. A scout that somebody needs to kill off. Greece. So working on the commercial hub. Okay, what have we got going on here though? So... Obviously, this is not where we were going from before. 13, 1 and 1. 14, 1, 1 and 1, Faith. Yeah, I think we'll go to Leeds. And uh, we'll begin that route. More units needing orders. Yeah, he's actually losing a lot of health, so I don't think we need to worry about him. So we will uh, return back with you. You're going to finish off and clear this camp. We've almost got the oil. And we have a promotion on these guys. Can't use that yet. So we'll go on to the next turn. Might even see if we can get another uh, world wonder or two. Might even try and get Big Ben. I feel that gold is a lot more uh, required in this than it was in Civilization V. Being able to build... Uh, being able to instantly... Look at all this spam here. Being able to instantly buy some units and buildings, I think, is definitely uh, worthwhile in this. So you guys get over there so you can go and repair up. We say we do want to get that oil. I mean, we, we need combustion to hook it up anyway. Uh, you guys got a promotion. Can't do it on this turn. We'll wait till you get to get back home. You will be fine. Probably. But, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that scout's going to get killed off anyway. We've taken the camp out, so it's not like the scout's going to run anywhere and do anything. Um, so, yeah, you guys have got a promotion. Um, let's do your promotion first, maybe. Where is your promotion? Oh, no, we've got a next turn. It's because I'd automatically given it, a, uh, given it orders. Uh, you guys just fortify up. Now we'll go on to the next turn here. Four more turns. We'll have economics and humanism. Culture is going up. I did definitely stall at the beginning, but it is improving now. And uh, 100 gold per turn coming in is quite nice. We do need to start getting walls and things built. So what can we get for a, um, a pikeman? We can have combat strength versus cavalry or combat strength versus military. I haven't seen many cav cavalry units, so let's go down the uh, just the normal sort of military tree there. Uh, choose production. We have finished something here. 
Was it the city centre? Um, we probably want to get a... Well, the water mill's nice. We've got plenty of housing because we're only at three of seven. Uh, I guess we do want the monument, though, because our culture just stinks throughout the empire, really. So we'll start working on that. And we will just do this uh, final turn, I believe, and then we will stop for a break. A lot of a uh, lot of faith piling up that I can't really do anything with. I've got a lot of tea again, I've just noticed. We should probably go and sell that off. We could make significantly more money if we did. Who would like some tea? What about England? Surely you've got to like tea. Uh, would you like um, some tea? No, I don't want to give a gift. You give me money for it. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Teddy, you want some tea? Have some tea. I don't really need the open borders from you, but yeah, I'll give you that. So now we should just be down to a single T. We are, and we should have a bit more money coming in. It says 107. We'll check it on the next turn. You guys fortify up. And I still forgot to end the video there. I, I'm telling you, it's this game. It's, it's just like Civilization V. You know you have to stop, but you just want to keep going. It's just the game just taunts you and forces you to press that button and go again. So, decent amount of money now. Still got housing problems in Frankfurt now. Um, can we fix that problem? Wow, that's a lot of gold required to build uh, sewers. So, we can't fix that problem yet. Uh, choose production in Ashen. Um, we don't need the sewer, so we probably won't build that. Uh, you're suggesting an entertainment complex. We could build Oxford University. That would take a long time to build. 49 turns. But, I mean, look at the bonuses. 20% science in this city, and it awards two randomly chosen free technologies when completed. And they could be anywhere on the tech tree. Is there anything here that I desperately need before that? Let's get a bank. Because getting extra money coming in will mean that we can buy other stuff that we need while this city's busy. And that is the end of the turn. So I am going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.